Hi everybody, Lori here for Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a springy Easter themed project to share with you featuring the layered tulips stencil set. This came out in the Lucky to Know Your release. You get four mini stencils that you can layer to create beautiful dimension and interest with tulips. So I'm gonna start, and I do go through quite a bit of post-it tape. What can I say? I try to be thrifty and reuse the pieces when I can, but the reality is I just use an obscene amount of post-it tape in general, but what can I say? Okay, first tulip is pink. I'm using Distress Mini Ink Cubes. Any inks will work. Um, starting with sponge sugar and worn lipstick. And when I saw these tulips, I immediately thought of Aldi. I grocery shop most often at Aldi. It's a six minute walk. I do it every day except for Sunday. They're closed on Sunday here. All the grocery stores are closed here in Germany on Sunday. And, and it's kind of the culture to go to the store every day, at least for us, because we have a tiny little fridge and a big hungry family. And another thing, the food, like if you buy bread, like crusty delicious bread, it doesn't last. You get one, maybe two days if you're lucky. So you gotta go often to the store. But the point of the story is Aldi right now has the most beautiful tulips right at the checkout. Beautiful, an array of all the different colors and they're really inexpensive. I haven't bought any, but I might just treat myself one of these days to some tulips. So in my ink blending here, I um, did each tulip a different color. It was a little extra work. I think it's definitely worth it. Of course, you don't have to do that. I've seen lots of beautiful cards with all the same color tulips. You know, when you buy the bouquets, it's usually one color. I would actually love to get a bouquet with all different colors. You know me, I mean, if I could get a rainbow tulip bouquet, I'd be all over that one. Anyway, back to Aldi. They have amazing produce. Even back home, I thought Aldi's produce was great in America, but in Germany here, it's fantastic. Some of the differences that I've noticed are a plethora of red bell peppers here, and they're inexpensive. Back home, I felt like that was more of an expense. You know, generally, I would get green bell peppers. Here, it's the red bell peppers. There's lots of them, and you know what's hard to find? I can hardly almost ever find it is cilantro. Not a lot of Mexican food where we are, and I we love Mexican food. I used to make salsa all the time, but it's hard to find. Every great once in a while at like a specialty store, I could find some cilantro. And um, so what else have I noticed? Okay, the bread is phenomenal here. Like out of this world, crusty, and you can, and the butter. Don't even get me started on the butter. It tastes amazing. Like, I don't know when I just, if you just have some of that bread, crusty bread, put some butter on it, forget about it. But the butter comes in these big blocks, like rectangular blocks. It is hard to measure because I'm used to having sticks. So whenever I try to make, you know, cookies, I just can't figure out what's a cup of butter. And I bought a scale, you know, cause they do grams and I'm, I'm measuring it. I think, right. I don't know. Does Solid butter and liquid butter, are those two different weights? I need to Google that. Anyway, my cookies are not turning out because I think I'm adding too much butter. Even though the butter tastes good, you know, too much butter makes for flat cookies. Anyway, while I'm blabbing away about butter, I moved on to the sentiment. I'm using the He Is Risen word dye designed by Kathy Zilski, and I love it's perfect for Easter. I did the word dye out of gold foil and the backer out of vellum. And then I went ahead and did three out of white. I'll stack those up. I'm using Lawn Fawn liquid adhesive to stack these up. And everyone always asks about my rainbow glue holder. It's from Make It By Marco. She has a shop on Etsy. I believe they make those with their 3D printer, which is cool. I just love it because it's rainbow and it's handy dandy and it just sits there and makes me smile. So I'm gluing these word dies together, making them nice and dimensional. And then I adhere it to the vellum. Every once in a while, you might see my head get in the frame. I'm wearing a blue ball cap today. Uh, you know what they say, a bad hair day is an opportunity for a good hat day. I just made that up right there. It's kind of catchy. So there's two tittles in this word dye. You don't want to forget the tittle. No, very important on the is and the risen. And then I take an acrylic block to smush it down, press those layers together, and she's finished. She's shiny, 
She's classy. And I put a little foam tape on my tulip panel. I'm gonna pop this up on an ivory card base, which is very fresh. Then some slivers of foam tape behind the he, he is risen. And I shimmy and futz with this sentiment, moving it all around when you and I both know it's gonna end up right in the center. Who's kidding who? But uh, you would laugh if you saw how long I do take time to decide where I'm gonna put the sentiment. And it ends up in the middle almost every time. I finish it off with a few sparkling clear sequins and this card is finished. It's clean and simple, but it's colorful, it's fresh, and it's perfect for Easter that's coming up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.